So many speakers speak about um, change, that this is always changing, everything's always moving. always meaning the moving, then that means there are no things. That might be quite a long concept. <laughs> there are no separate things, it's just life or energy expressing itself. And that energy is constantly transforming into new things. The problem for the poor human. <laughs> or the lucky human, whichever way it is, is that because of the complicated thinking, it can perceive this, so it knows it's death. It knows that the body dies, because everything's moving, so everything's changing. It knows that it loses everything. can't know anything because concepts are very limited so it doesn't really understand anything but it thinks it understands this. It thinks it knows that it will die and it thinks it knows that it is the body. <laughs> and it thinks it knows it has things or loses things. My friend told me this really interesting thing about um, his children. He said two children, and he said the same thing happened with both children. This is so interesting. At first, the, the baby would throw a toy over its head. Threw it, and then no reaction. Just threw it, and then the toy's gone. That's it. Then the baby, this is so interesting, the baby would throw the toy, and the baby would look round and see that the toy was there behind it and then it would look back and then it would do this again and look round at the toy then it threw the toy and instantly cried because it could then comprehend that the toy still existed and it didn't have it 
before when it first threw it, the first throwing, the toy was just gone. It couldn't imagine that the toy still existed, it was just gone. Mm. Then it began to comprehend the toy still exists and I don't have it. And so it cried. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. And this is, it's not that the human is wrong in any way. We get into the spirituality and we start saying the ego is bad. It's not, or the, the thinking is bad. It's not that it's bad. It's just that it's just gone down a funny path. And it, it's just bound to create suffering because it can understand that this body will die eventually. It can understand that it will lose the lover. It can understand it will lose the house. It can also understand that it can get it momentarily. I could have a house. And that's not wrong. It's just this energy which is taking it as a truth and taking it as who you are. Like, you don't die. Is this me? No, Oh, it's your one. You don't die. <laughs> like, Everything you think you know about reality was just only ever practicality for the human to survive better. The fact that the baby could begin to comprehend that the toy still exists is, I'm sure, in evolutionary sense, helping the survival of the human. Whereas the dog will spend hours trying to get the toy from under the sofa for this poor, like, <laughs> just to repetitively do this, the human can comprehend to move the sofa. But it's got so lost in thoughts. It's even become an energetical sense, me. It feels like you are inside the body and you are choosing from that center. That you're creating choice. And that this choice that is, I am going to choose to come and see Lisa, is who you are. Where it's just a thought arising in aliveness, in beingness. It might sound really confusing sometimes the way I speak. I'm trying to point out the most simplest thing ever, which isn't something that you can think about. But as all the thoughts are labeled not true, not true, not true, or they're pointed out to not be the way they are, it's so obvious that the nature of everything is freedom. The nature of everything is like one of those toys that you have as a kid. This is just so amazing that humans can imagine this. I say this to my dog and it's like, oh, la, 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 to her. I sound like a turkey. Like, this makes, she has no meaning on these words. It's amazing that we can have meaning on these words and all imagine this toy that I'm gonna to describe. The toy, you used to write on the toy and it was maybe like an ink or sand thing. And then you could go like this and it was gone, the picture. You could write on it and then foot, foot, and it was gone. This is the nature of everything. And this sounds so cold, but it's actually really beautiful. That is the freedom of the nature, is that everything's disappearing. The trauma for the human is that it's holding on to everything. With this ability to remember, which is an amazing ability, it's taking that memory to be who it is, and it's trying to find freedom in that ability to think. It's trying to find freedom in what I know and what I can get and what will make me happy and what will make me safe. Where it, the freedom is the fact that it disappears. But the human's always fighting that disappearance. It's trying to make it permanent and get somewhere in the future and in time. The freedom, if you watch a dog, it doesn't have much of a memory and it's, there's no identity there. So it's just like we were laughing yesterday at my dog, the fact that she's on the lead and she wants to eat all the horse poop. So we're always having to tug her on the lead. <laughs> but like, imagine if we were... <laughs> Paul took me out for a walk <laughs> on a lead. <laughs> and every time I looked at a man or something, he was like, oh! <laughs> 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 the dog's just like, oh, tug her. And she's like, oh, it's... And then she sees the poo again and she tries to tug her. And oh, like, like because she hasn't got this memory, this memory, it's just so spontaneous. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. And there's no suffering there. There's not that we have to go brain dead, not have memory, and not have thinking. But it's not who you are. 
It's something that's coming and going. There's no truth in what we think. We know. It's your nature for it to be gone, 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 gone. It's not who you are, the body. The body comes and goes. The thoughts come and go. The emotions come and go. The sensations come and go. The belief systems come and go. Uh, what else comes and goes? The objects come and go. But there's something that's here which isn't seeable. It's no thing and it's everything. And it's always it. And everything is disappearing in it. You won't find freedom in what you think you know, in that person that's holding on to thoughts or holding on to beliefs. That is not who you are, that is an appearance. And it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. Boom. Are these sounds gone? Did they ever happen? We have an imagination, but then that imagination's gone. Gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's easy to understand the thoughts when they go. Yeah. They're gone and they disappear. Yeah. But my biggest problem is almost the body. It's always gone. Where is your body now? This is the body that's here. Yeah. But I don't think, and I do other things, there's no body. But then, after five minutes, the body is again there. And yeah. it looks the same as five minutes ago. Yeah. But it's always coming and going when there's an activity of saying you're, you're, you're um, cooking or chopping the vegetables. All there is is chopping vegetables. Yeah, that's, that's all there is. Yeah. Then the thought comes in of the body and the body appears again. Then the thought disappears of the body and then there's whatever is happening again. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. the mind yeah. keeps yeah. holding on, that is who I am. And often yeah. what's happening, although I forget a bit, but it's often there's an image of that body, yeah. at, like relating and interacting, and the, the and it has a character. Yeah. Also, so it seems as some substance. Yeah. yeah. And that's how it moves. Ah, but it goes. It goes. Yeah, it goes. That image and those ideas of the character mm. is always changing as well. The the thing that's always there is what is. That's always it, and that beingness in which all these things are coming and going. Your memory is not who you are, your memory is a functioning, coming and going. So the idea of what Gert did 10 years ago, is something that belongs in the character, but it comes and goes. Yeah. And not you. Yeah. It I really mean, is like, believing that you are the body is like believing you are the sunlight. It's that, it's that odd, believing of the body. <laughs> it's that odd, believing, it's like saying now, who I am is this wall. Uh -huh. Like it's, it's that, or who I am is this yeah. body in front of me. But it comes and goes, and it's not wrong that it comes and goes, but it's not who you are, it's something that comes, appears and disappears. Uh -huh. Yeah, because if I look at the flower, yeah. Then it's like I am the flower. Yep. And then I think about the body and I think, hey, that's me. Yeah. And, and, and then, who you are is no thing uh, yeah. and everything that is. So no thing and everything. So no one thing. So you, you can't be just that body and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever is appearing is who you are without the you or what is. But it's. Um, but as soon as the mind starts saying it's one thing more than another, then the suffering begins because then that object becomes the most important object in the world. And that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's terrifying that the, it, like, that the body wow. is going to lose everything and die. But the body, everything is destined to, to change into something else. And that what you are is that which is always in, that which is everything. Oh, so I've been to words, I must make it sound so confusing. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's where the non-loneliness comes from that we were talking about yesterday. Loneliness comes when I am the body 
and the objects yeah, were yeah. there. Yeah, because from the point of the body, you always, you never can get close to something no, else. No, but from the point of everything and nothing, you're always close. It, like it's so huh? intimate and close, yeah. yeah. From the point of the body, it's like a, you can never penetrate anything. Huh? Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he loves that act so much. <laughs> Yesterday, all that was here. Yeah. And he writes me now, uh, greet Lisa and thank her very much. I see. Openness is really here also. <laughs> so, open. He's coming back. I said that. Yeah. And please tell her, let me see. No separation and openness is indeed here. <laughs> he went home yesterday. Yeah. So it's not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was laughing and laughing. He was very sweet. And then it becomes, when it's I am the body, it becomes a fixation on the emotions, on the feelings, on the sensation, and, and not feeling, say, frustration, so when it's hot or not feeling too hot, or it becomes a fixation on the state of the body. And it's impossible to control and controlling action. And it's, there's not somebody in there doing action. It's, there's not someone choosing, there's just appearance of choice. But this energy gets more and more fixated on it. The body, the body, the body.
it's really lovely this feel the energy of the room. Like, uh, especially in groups like this, 
irritation is bound to come up in groups like this when it starts and sticky. There's nothing wrong with irritation. But the mind will look at it, I'm unenlightened, I shouldn't be feeling this, I should be a different way. And it's it, like my, like, this is why nature or animals are so good to watch. You watch the horse and for sure it's irritated by the flies. You know, it's shaking, it's running around trying to get rid of the flies. A, that's not the problem. The horse doesn't have a sense that it's a body and that it needs to fix itself. It just comes and goes. The irritation. It's not looking at itself. But this is so abstract to what we think we know, because what we think we know is to always fix ourselves. Right, so the whole idea, you know, Freud wrote volumes on the interpretation of dreams, huh? Yeah. And he would have a heyday with yeah. mixed dream, huh? But if that's happening, fixing that's, dreams, that's what's happening. Right, but that could happen, and that could... But you'll never find freedom in right, it. Right, it's not freedom, but it could be more... If what could happen is that there's more relaxation could be in, in the, the body. person. But huh? if you think relaxation is the It's goal, not freedom, no, no, but you could have relaxation. Yeah, then you'll be more, fighting more comfortable. what's happening. Right. If you think relaxation is, yeah, you'll be more comfortable. Yeah. But if you think relaxation is the goal, then you'll be fighting irritation. And like, right. yeah. like you'll go to the shop and there will be no food left, or you'll be queued for ages, or you'll lose yeah. your ticket. Yeah. Life is like this, it's yeah. messy. It's hilariously funny when it's not personal. Well, not always. When the kid gets kidnapped or something, you're like, huh? <laughs> but it's, it, it's just not happening to someone. And there's not someone in there that needs to fix and control it. It's just it happening, and the impulses to do things appear when they need to appear. If there's the impulse to look at dreams, then that's exactly it. But it's, it's not, not to get somewhere. Yeah. There's not somewhere that's someone that's going to get somewhere ever. It's just appearing and disappearing in boundlessness. <clears throat> the irritation's a good one. I often hear people say, if I was more enlightened or mm -hmm. if I was more... Um, so nothing to do with that. It's just sensation appearing. If, if it's for someone, then they'll focus so much on the irritation and trying to get rid of it, trying to control it. Mm -hmm. More and more into a small world. There's not someone there. That's just the irritation happening. In freedom, yeah. yeah. There it goes. It's not even that label. Mm -hmm. Well, we just give it the yeah, word, yeah. I, 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 a whole number yeah. of signs Sound, to yeah. put on that yeah. emotion yeah. so that so that we can tell it in the story to someone else. Yeah. That, yeah. And then we have a, a list of good and bad. It was funny, I was watching this comedy TV series called Orange is the New Black and they were doing this group counselling and they had a list of emotions they felt and they had, to, they had to identify which of the emotion they were feeling and the, it was hilarious, this thing and the girl was like uh, what was it she said? And she said an emotion, they were like, that's not on the list, you can't have that emotion <laughs> And she's like, oh, okay. So she then had to go through the, the list to find the emotion. <laughs> it's like an unlisted phone number. Yeah. Not that old. Not that And she's like, oh, okay. Like I'm yeah, not anything. Yeah. Well, all of those, huh? Yeah. We've got an obsession with emotion. <laughs> It's like a dog trying to catch his tail, the obsession with emotion, emotions. This sounds so terrible to in spiritual groups because spiritual groups are often fixated on emotions. But it's really, it's really not about emotions. They come and go. It's the one that claims the emotion. the body finds itself in a group for fixing emotions, that's where it is. And that couldn't be any other way, not right or wrong, it's just as it is. It can never be any different to what's happening. There's not someone directing this. Sorry, I'm such a, I latch onto people and then I'm like, latch onto the finish. 
So you had said last night that even consciousness appears in this. Yeah. So could, there can be a thisness or a, a suchness or an isness that's just so, so totally empty yeah. that there's no that there's no movement, or is it when consciousness appears that there's a coming and a going? I don't, and I don't know how it works. Or we, don't, think, we, don't even, we, do, we probably don't need to know. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know. But I've seen this really nice yeah. quote that um, I like from the Heart Sutra, mm -hmm. it's a Buddhist sutra. You know, Brahmish says consciousness is everything, or, or consciousness is all that is. Yeah. You go beyond that, so that there's something. Well, they also, no, they also do imply that consciousness is nothing. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how it works. I'm yeah. not sure how life is creating consciousness or. Right, or this, yeah. Does consciousness create the life, huh? Well, no, I think consciousness comes and goes. Where, well, when there's no consciousness, what, what, what's, what nothing. is there? So the consciousness happens in, inside the nothing. So. Yeah, okay. so the consciousness is nothing. Yeah, so um, part of the nothing. Yeah, but often non-duality teachers mm -hmm. do say that as well. Yeah. But they, they use the word consciousness as a bit of a bridge. Like as a bit of a word to be able to make it a bit more excessive, excessive yeah. but they say that consciousness is nothing. So this is from the Heart mm -hmm. Sutra. So it's not just me that says it, but it's that. <laughs> Got good credentials back in your yeah. era. Yeah. <laughs> or aliveness is no longer in the body, yeah. it, it goes back somewhere or just... <laughs> I 
I think that the energy, the energy just goes on and creates something else. Right, it goes back into something else. Mm -hmm. So would you call that consciousness too, that, 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 that energy that is along the body? I think another form. Another form. So consciousness is another form, so I don't know. And consciousness is another appearance, right. I think. Mm -hmm. I'm really saying I think where it's going is. It's another appearance that's happening and coming and going. Okay, so we really don't need the distinction. Mm -hmm. It's just sort of the aliveness that goes, come, it's, a, it's expressed as, as the chair or yeah. as, as Schumann or as the fan or as Lisa. Yeah. And then when those things die, whatever that is energy of consciousness is, but it's expressed as something else. Yeah. So we don't. So there's not a need to know more than that. No. That's, that's the whole package. Yeah, and you'll never know who or what is creating this. No. Right. It's just kind of that, that part that there's something before consciousness that kind of is. Yeah. So you can also do it in the other way around. Is, is the consciousness here? It feels like it's always here. I feel, like I feel aliveness and consciousness if I use those but as synonyms. But how do you know that? Mm -hmm. it's just, I can only know the aliveness that's felt in the body. Well, could you know that if you, were, if you weren't thinking? As a baby, do you know that? That's hard to, I don't know. Yeah. Because I don't remember being so a baby. Yeah, so but there's so many dead yeah. knows. Like yeah, when yeah. the body wakes up when it's chopping vegetables, it's the consciousness. There's consciousness of, of aliveness, but it's not identified as Phyllis is chopping vegetables. It's just that. But I guess it's not really a problem. Huh? But that's conscious, consciousness is, a, is carrying out the action. Are you sure there is consciousness, though, in those moments? It's not, there's no conscious thinking, huh? Yeah, there's no interpretation. No, right? yeah. But then it's the consciousness. Or just aliveness is fine too. But even aliveness, we don't. All of this is a lot of assumptions. Yeah. yeah. Well, something is, is has decided to move. Huh? Something is expressing. Yeah. So it's just life, or just everythingness uh, coming out of the nothingness that's chopping the vegetables. Or does it doesn't really matter. We just. Um, this is where we all begin to just come. Mm -hmm. We just disappear. Yeah. That's a question mark. That's okay too. Yeah. And what does it even mean, the word, to be conscious? <laughs> what does it even mean, to be conscious? Do they have it in French, the word consciousness? Mm -hmm. Conscience. <coughs> La conscience. conscience. La conscience. La conscience. Yeah. Être conscient. Yeah, être conscient. Yeah, and around me, I think uh, that conscience is just here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which uh, awareness mm -hmm. and consciousness. Awareness, yeah. They don't use awareness, it's everything is conscious. Yeah, they say cheat. Yeah. But the, the French is just conscious. Yeah, such. Yeah. The French always used to say a spiritual fact as either, for example, a Marxist who prefers consciousness and being conscious of how you wake up to how you exploit it. Yeah. Being conscious of it. Yeah. It's got lots of different meanings. But there's something that's aware that, like I said, the fan, I hear the fan, I, I see, there's something seeing the sunlight, that's seeing knees up. You know, I say, oh, that's here's my so so something is is aware or conscious. Yeah, then everything is objects. Huh? Then every objects are perceived. Yes. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Really really don't know. <laughs> Something's happening. Seems to be, but then also. And as long as there's an alive it's going person. so quickly, I'm yeah. not sure. This, mm -hmm. I really this. I really don't know. I get to big don't knows. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's because we don't know. All, all that can be known without knowing it in thought is when there isn't the going into the opposites of thinking, so the duality, 
This is not separate at all. It's like being in a jello or something. Yeah, in the same super. Yeah, it's not separate. In the experience, there's no separation. Or in the immediacy of this, there's no separation. But apart from that, as to what this is, is it consciousness or not consciousness? Is the brain creates consciousness? But there's just not two. Mm. Then what is creating this? I mean, we could be in a pig's dream. We could be a pig rolling in shit dreaming. <laughs> yeah. One of those steroid cows. <laughs> we just don't know what's happening. It could be like a kaleidoscope. Okay. Maybe we make the use of the world of light or conscious, consciousness. Because light means a TV or so Light? Yes. So light. In India, yes. Sir. Yeah. We use this world, the mystical world. Well, this mm. light of consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pixels like a cartoon. Mm-hmm. The word light in English has two meaning. Not EV. Not what? Not EV. Okay. Heavy. Heavy. Not heavy. Oh, light. Oh, yes, it's supposed to have you. Light. Light. Oh, yeah, that's funny, isn't it? Yeah, it has two meanings. Oh, words are so funny, aren't they? Not heavy and then light. Earlier, um, it's about the loss of the ego, but then still, you're wired in some special. You can be wired in, in, in a special way. Can you elaborate on that? The body has always got its specific programming. So if it's like a, like if it's specific programming is to be more of an athlete or to be more of an artist or to be more of a, yes. it's all got its very unique programming. So could you say the same thing about the brain? The, the brain is wired in some way to be more like an artist or more like a yeah. scientist? Or, yeah, yeah. So, so. It has nothing to do with ego. Mm-hmm. No, I think, that the, I think that the sense of self is created in the brain. <coughs> it's like a chemical reaction that's happening in the brain, giving the illusion that somebody is controlling it. So, if you prefer chocolate ice to vanilla, it's how you're wired. Yeah. Did you see yeah. Okay. It's so impersonal, all of it. Mm. But the, the the sense of self is always saying it's me that likes the chocolate ice cream. I shouldn't mm. like the chocolate ice cream. I should like <coughs> whatever. But it's just a functioning appearance. So the being wired is it's quite a big deal in the totality of of your imagined self, or is it? Um, mm. In some. It, Certain wiring will be more painful and certain wiring will be more pleasurable. Mm. Um, but all suffering comes down to the identification with that. Mm. That that is who you are. And that you've got to improve yourself and that you've got to choose correctly and choose the right life and get things right and not choose the chocolate life. How can it be any other way? Because the body likes it, the body likes it. That's the way it goes. But probably it's very, sometimes it can be very hard to decide if something is wiring or education. It's probably sometimes hard to draw the line between the two. I kind of see them both as the same thing. Both the same thing, yeah. okay. The education will affect the old wiring, but there's no. Um, there's nobody educating that body, it's just the way that life happens, the yes. conditioning of that body. But conditioning is not a bad thing either, the body's always going to be conditioning, conditioned. So like, like a tree that is growing in its cube because of the wind coming from the same side, yeah. side yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah. exactly so like that. Yeah, yeah. And if you have an English conditioning, or uh, if you have uh, African conditioning, or 
you know, the conditioning where the parents were very abusive or the parents were very hippie-like. And who knows which one will be more painful or pleasurable. You always hear, I've met people that have had very um, easy upgrowings and they suffer tremendously and then bodies that have had terrible upgrowings and don't really suffer that much. It, it all depends on how heavy that identification is and I don't know why that appears. Yes. So I was a bit wrong then. I thought the wiring is something that, that happened at your conception, but the wiring is something that goes on, all, on and on and on all the time. Yeah. yeah. You could sit up to genetics and conditioning, but I think that the conditioning is affecting that genetic, genetic wiring. Yeah. It's always changing the way the body is. It can't change that much. You can't like uh, suddenly just become an athlete if it's uh, if it's got the wiring of being very greedy and very heavy. So worry is a kind of memory. It can be psychological memory, not worry, conditioning. Yeah. It can be psychological memory, so uh, in this case the uh, conditioning come, comes from bringing up. Yeah. But it can be something physical, but it also in that way it's memory, not because uh, maybe I didn't eat enough when I was young. Yeah. And I didn't grow, it has a memory as well. Yeah. But I think memory is just a chemical reaction happening in the brain or happening in the body, but I don't really know how it, what it is. But it's certainly not who you are, and it's always changing. The me takes, the person takes that to be who you are, the memory, the conditioning, the makeup, the experiences as who you are. But they're always coming and going in this. There just is no more you than this light in the room, than the walls of this room. But the wiring, the person often is saying, no, I'm just this body, I'm this limitation, I'm my choices, I'm my actions. I could choose differently. That's the huge thing of the human. I could choose a different thing. My, my body isn't my choice, but my actions are my choice. But there's no separation from anything. It's all one flow, like a movement of the ocean going forward and the wave at the top of the ocean going, this is my free will to be up here, I chose to be up here. It's just a movement of energy. That is a movement of energy. It's not who you are. The person who is, that's who I am. And I'm choosing to, to be a wave, or I'm choosing to go this way. And then all this activity goes on me, my choices. What I've got, what I haven't got. What they did, what they chose. This very narrow world in time. And that's a very small part of experiencing, but the human obsesses about it. It's so small. Like now, a huge bit of experiencing is wind. <laughs> it's wind. Wind. <laughs> like a breeze. Or, or heat. And there's no separation between the heat and the body for the same thing, or the sensing of the heat and the heat. But, but the mind says, I am somebody who is hot. I am somebody in time. But this is why it's the wind. The sights, the sounds, the smells, the bubbles. But then you say, I am hot, and then I say, well, oh, I'm not so hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then you say, ah, it must be different. Yeah. But and I then the, confu the confusion lies that that is a somebody, a separate somebody. That's just a description ah. of the body. Just descriptions. Yeah. It's not a, a separate entity. The book, ah. It's just that simple functioning, the intellectual thinking that has created the confusion. The ability to create, to describe what the body does and doesn't do. But it's not of somebody. That description cannot be who you are. It's just, it's like a turkey, like, oh, oh, oh. And then the other turkeys take that sound to be who the turkey is. He is, oh, 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 oh. In English or in Dutch, when you say I'm hot in Dutch, that means nothing.
before there was uh, an insight, an insight. There was uh, there was quality. I was seeing what you said, and then the mind that came up saying, "Is it?" And then the fear to lose what I was seeing came up as well. Just if it is. Just if it was uh, something. I have seen this many times. So something I, which I can grab. As a concept or a solution or... And it gives the, even this gives the appearance that somebody is in there Who's, um, who's grabbed this or seen this, or, but really there's just energies and thoughts appearing in bound space, giving the appearance that Becky seems. It's all such an illusion. It's just an idea has appeared, a sensation has appeared, a thought has appeared, as if there's a Becky there that's seen something. It's just a, a, a well, it's not always funny, but it's a cosmic joke that there's somebody in there having this experience.
and it's a nice restaurant and it's really great, he's really happy, all day he's looking forward to it. <coughs> so then they go on the date and they're sitting there and it's like this lovely, everything's perfect, you know, he's really into this. And then he like looks at the corner of his eye and there's this really attractive woman, he's just looking right at him. <laughs> and he's like, he's like trying to concentrate on the day. <laughs> he's looking over, he's like, what? Oh. And she's sort of like, kind of like summons him over, you know. And, uh, and he's like, oh, I'll let go. I'll let go see what's going on. And he goes over to the table and he's like, hello. Oh, she's like, what are you doing here? And the mind goes, what'd you do that for? You know, the whole time the mind would say, oh, this is what you want, and then he goes over there, and she, the mind's quick to say, oh, we should have done that. Beautiful, it's so sweet how the mind goes, you know. Oh, it's time to laugh, it makes me laugh. Yeah, it's over there, it's over there. Yeah. Then it's back there, and you have to have it back. <laughs> It doesn't matter. No. You've now got all the afternoon up to five. Um, I'll look up for everybody uh, before lunch. Um, some nice lakes around here. I know that there's lakes that you can go swimming in, but I don't know where they are. Mm -hmm. Nice lakes. So if anyone wants to go for a swim, maybe I can write it out so people can look where they are. So I think he's done a hip hop this afternoon. One, two, an hour Can I ask another question? Yeah. After awakening, let's say your awakening, when awakening happens yeah. in a body, mind, or a right? Yeah. That's done deal. If the person, there's awakening that's happened. Is there, is there a next step or is there just more of what's happening? You said that your life, your experience get increasingly, increasingly full on and blissful and 
Sister's less and less or none of the first and left. But with the no identification, is it just that that's it? Or would you, would you say in your experience, just that there's increasing, you know, like in the Vedic tradition, they talk about cosmic consciousness being awakening, and then God consciousness, and, uh, and then unity consciousness. Do you, do you yes. see it as that, that there's a, in, it changes? After, after awakening, there's more awakening than a second, third, fourth. Without calling it levels, it sounds like recapture. Yeah. And, uh, levels and intellectualizing, but there's something more. Is yeah. there after it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But just in your experience, right? since, um, since the disappearance of Lisa. The love seems to intensify. Love, love yeah. for everything, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that. That's it, but that seems if you if you have to qualify, which is hard, I guess. But yeah. Just better, better as opposed to yeah, more and more of ha happiness and more aliveness. I don't know if it's better, it's just, but it does seem to be more love. But I don't mm -hmm. care. That's really weird. Well, we don't have to care. Yeah. It just seems to come yeah. to you. Come to you. Yeah. Don't really care. This it just it's happening. We yes, just don't know what the hell it is. Mm -hmm. But the, more, the more it happens. Just, I don't know, more of what? Love. More of what, yeah. Like once there, there's I don't a know if that's more of it. Yeah, so it's more of it. Or is there a saturation of the body, of the body mind in the awakening state? Well, that's it. We're cooked, huh? Oh, no, no, no. No. Yeah. You can't, you can't know it. So. Yeah. Well, if you had to compare, would you say like, I mean, Lisa, your experience of life, of, of, of aliveness, is a happier experience than a year ago, than two years ago. I really can't look at it. Can't look at it. It's gone, huh? Yeah. More forgetful. Yeah, more right. Yeah. It seems to be more love, but then at the same time, I might be talking absolute nonsense. Yeah, but you could still have, it's, that's the impression of the emotion. Yeah, is that the happy, more love. love seems different from happiness. Yeah. And it seems different in the sense of... Personality was 
sort of relying on. So with the openness and that there was more vulnerability. Mm. But I think it's so different in all the It's exactly for every person. Mm. It's it's probably a different. Uh, and it's going to be as it is, no matter what we know. <laughs> we know whatever it's going to be the way it is. <laughs> well, it's an energetic thing as well. I mean, yeah, this vulnerability. Yeah. But I'm talking especially at the beginning. I mean, after after it has happened, uh, yeah. before you. The energy sort of uh, finds its balance again. It's, um, and sharing with others, it seems to be quite uh, a normal reaction to feel more vulnerable after yeah. awakening and more sensitive to things. And at the same time, uh, uh, we are not as affected because there's nobody, so it goes here and goes out there. In, out, in, out. There's both when it's a dance. I notice that as soon as we start talking about experience, I begin to go more and more into I don't know. Okay, it, it, it gets more and more complicated, the question. It's like, if we talk about just not two-ness and the non-duality part, it's, it's quite simple, but as soon as we talk about experience, it's like, I think that would be the easy bit to talk about, but it's so... I bet I really don't know with more or vulnerability or more suffering or... It, I, I don't know how it goes.